That's right, the town of Katima Mulilo came to a near standstill as many of the residents made their way to the various regions around the town. Now, if you look at those visuals there, you can see a much emptier Katima compared to the hustle and bustle that we observed last week. Now, we caught up with some of the law enforcement officials at the Katima Mulilo checkpoint. And of course, this is how they describe the situation. At this time, the flow is very slow. Most of the people, they have went to the village to enjoy Christmas with their families. And we haven't received any accident or any other report. Fantastic. And how would you describe the conduct and compliance of the, of the motorists in terms of adhering to the rules and regulations here? Drivers are adhering to the rules of the Namibian traffic. They are putting their seatbelts, most of them. No problems. We are looking at, you know, the festive season. It's still continuing. Uh, just what message do you have to motorists here? I motivate drivers they have to take care of themselves and for the passengers they are caring because the lives of their people is very important. As you can see there, a much quieter central Katima Mulilo as sporadic movement can be observed in town. But just a stone throw away, some 70 kilometers southeast from here is the Ngoma border post. Now, this post has become synonymous for a joyous festive celebration as people gather underneath the Goma Bridge to celebrate their holidays. As you can see there, of course, the Chobe River runs through. Um, that is the area bordering Namibia and Botswana. And we caught up with some of the locals to hear just how they spent their day. It's a river bank which is close to the border of Namibia and Botswana. So people, it's like a, um, a valley which is having like rocky stones and so on. So people, they used to enjoy it very much. It doesn't get dry so much. So when you'll be there on that place, you enjoy too much. Because uh, you used to see animals, they used to move from Botswana crossing Namibia. So we have to enjoy that uh, moment of animals moving from Botswana to Namibia, just mingling like that. As you can see, the place is very nice. Um, we actually like do this every year. The place is open, it's green, there's um, water, as you can see, and we are next to a uh, neighboring country, Botswana. So it's very nice. Talk about the landscape and the wild animals. It's really nice, like serious, really, really nice. Nothing perfect, but we are better. Hi guys, we're here at Ngoma Bridge. It's been a vibe, we're chilling, and it's fantastic. Actually, it's my first time being here. He invited me, my friend invited me, so... It's beautiful, as you can see, the scenery, everything, family, loving it. I'm very much happy. It's a Christmas day. I'm on the border of Namibia and Botswana. I'm very happy. We're enjoying the Christmas. No fight, no crime, but we are just enjoying it. I did not even hear any news when I came here to the border of Namibia and Botswana, like the place where we are now. No one even fought, no one is injured, no one is doing what, but everyone who is here is just like brothers, sisters, siblings, whatsoever. We are just enjoying it and doing it very nice, and I'm very much happy. Hello, Namibia. Let's make it wherever we are. Well, I wish you a Merry Christmas from me to your family. Please enjoy wherever you are around Namibia. Happy Christmas, Namibia. Oh, okay. That's how we Guys, just enjoy yourself. Life is too short, so you got to enjoy yourself. I think we just have to enjoy responsibly, yeah? Yeah, just have fun. One thing I can say is that the people of the Zambezi region do know how to party and it's been quite exciting being here. Of course, we continue to catch up with the locals here as the festive season continues with this big weekend that is the New Year's Eve as well as New Year's Day approaching fast.